Hey up folks, Simon here, welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 and I'm very happy we managed to get Omni Slash to you in the last live stream and we haven't even got to the Temple of the Ancients yet. That is some ownage right there, I've never done that in the history of my Final Fantasy 7 career before, so yes, very exciting. Anyway, that's neither here nor there for today. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to get another item in this episode, and this tip comes courtesy of Red Mario 13 Nanakin 36 who shared this for me a few times in various YouTube comments. And what we're going to be collecting are Dragon Scales. Now you're going to want to make your way over to the Medeal area, you can see the red flashing dot just towards the bottom right of the map there. And you can do this once you've got access to the Tiny Bronco, and then head over to one of the beaches. Now make sure you have the Steel Materia equipped. You can have two steel materials by this point of the game, so if you can have both equipped that will just obviously speed up the process. Uh, let's just use turbo mode. First of all I'll show you how you can steal the item and from which enemy, and then I'll show it you in action. It's actually really, really nice. You might want to farm a few of these while you're at it. Now as far as I'm aware, these sandworms are the only enemy that appear on the beach. At the very least they're the only enemy, sea worms rather, that I've ever found here. So there we go, uh, we stole some dragon scales, that's the exact weapon that we're, uh, sorry, the exact steel that we're after. So next up we're just going to go ahead and defeat these guys in battle. Um, I don't believe that you can use level 4 suicide on them unfortunately. Uh, it's always worth testing that out though isn't it since it does so much damage if indeed you can. Uh, as you can imagine they have quite a lot of health these guys. But a few pongs with the weapons here should see us through fairly nicely. You can also, of course, escape from battle once you've got your steel, but personally, I like the experience of the AP, especially because I'm trying to level up those all materials. Something you should definitely be working on as well, by the way, guys, the whole time if you're after the Platinum Trophies, you play through the game here. So the more mastered all material you get early on, the less you'll have to get later on once you want to get the trophy. Okay, so I'll just show you the item very quickly. There it is. I've got two because I stole one earlier. Uh, what we're going to do now is see that in action. So we're going to head over to where the three or four green things tend to spawn, whatever they're called. Now, what Dragon Scales does is cast Aqualung. And, oh, why would I care about Dragon Scales, I hear you cry. I already have the Aqualung enemy skill, as I'm sure you do, especially being following along with my guide. And if I just show you the Aqualung enemy skill here with Cloud, I'm going to show you how it compares then to the item we've just stolen. So Aqualung does about 2,000 to 2,100 points of damage per enemy for Cloud. So not too shabby, I'm sure you would agree with that. It's a very nice skill actually, I really do like Aqualung. Uh, but I'm now going to show you the Dragon Scales. So just remember that 2 to 2,100 uh, damage that we did then. I want to try and find the same enemy for consistency purposes. We'll also use the same character to throw the item, which is Cloud. This is what you call a fair scientific test. That's all you get here on Fuzzfinger Gaming. Uh, now, it doesn't matter there's only three of them, because Aqualung Dragon Scales are not affected by the amount of enemies. So, we're going to go ahead and cast that and see how the damage compares. Not bad at all. Over 3,000 points of damage. So yes, it's Aqualung, but it's a far more powerful version of Aqualung. So that is why it's such a good item to get, especially because it's so easy to get. You can literally get, you know, 10 of these in just a few minutes, really. And the good thing is you do get some decent experience, gear and AP. Uh, it's not the best farming spot for those things. Um, but it's a bonus if you're going for those dragon scales as well. May as well get that also. So then, folks, if you want to stock up on, on a few of those, that's going to come in handy for some upcoming fights. You don't need to, of course. All of this stuff is optional. But it's worth having, in my opinion, um, just for emergency sake, if nothing else. But there we have it then, guys. I'm going to head off at this point. But thanks for stopping by checking out the video. And I'll see you next time for more Final Fantasy VII. Goodbye.